What's going on guys? This is Nintendo Freak 343 here back with part two of Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. In the last video, we got our starter Pokemon. And in this video, we are going to go ahead and see Mr. Pokemon. <sighs> so sorry I haven't been recording much. This is probably like three or four weeks after I recorded uh, the last video. And that's only the case because I end up getting sick for two weeks. And I lost my voice. Uh, he just used String Shot there. Which will lower the speed of your Pokemon. There's other uh, moves that will lower your Pokemon stats. Um, I'll either start fast forwarding or even cutting out the battles that don't matter. Um, come to this tree here and you can get a berry. <clears throat> um, come across trees like that and you can get berries. Come to this guy and you can get another berry. Which I think in the last video my Cyndaquil got um, low on HP, so, okay, so it's still holding the, the berry that we have from last time, as you can tell on the, um, to the right of the berry, that it still, it has a held item, so, that's always good, um, you see Pokeballs lying around here like this, you can pick them up and they'll have items or, um, TMs. Like I said in the last video, there's, um, oops, there's Pokemon that spawn, that will appear in the day, in the morning, and at night, and certain Pokemon, like, Spinarak here, it will be your, one of the commons during, during the night, and so won't, um, the Pokemon Hoot Hoot, which I don't think we've seen yet. But, um, there are two Pokemon I want to use on my team that only appear in the morning. So I'm hoping that, uh, fuck. Well, that's, that's okay. Um, we got poison there. So what poison will do will, is it will gradually lower the Pokemon's HP in battle. And outside of battle. So I, as you can see, the screen kind of flashes purple there. So what you want to do is you want to go and attack. I'm glad I get to show this all. Um, and antidote will cure of its cure of its po yeah, poison. It's like twelve thir after twelve o'clock that I'm um, recording this. Um, you can also get um, berries, like kind of like this, the prison cure berry. <laughs> um, it will basically it will restore. A I believe, I don't know if it has to be held, yes it does, um, so that's another thing I want to explain, there's only barriers that can be held that can, uh, cure status conditions, just like this one, um, it's self-cure for poison, and it's only a hold item, I'll say hold, just like that, and, uh, it's kind of the same for a berry, um, but you can, I believe, use this, and, and, um, yeah, you can use it, and I'm still carry Pokemon. Anyway, let's go in. This is Mr. Pokemon's house. Hello, hello. You must be coy. Professor Elm said that you would visit. This is what I want, Professor Elm, to examine. We see the mystery egg, so we want to take this to Professor Elm. I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued, so I sent mail to Professor Elm. For, po <coughs> For Pokemon Evolution, Professor Elm is the authority. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. If my assumption is correct, Professor Elm will know it. Ah, so you're Koi. I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher. Welcome back. <laughs> I can't do a good old compression. I was visit just visiting my old friend Mr. Pokemon. 
I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon. Let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you a Pokemon for this errand. To researchers like Professor Elm and I, Pokemon are our friends. He saw that you had tricked your Pokemon with love and care. Ah! <laughs> <coughs> you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See? This is the latest version of Pokedex. You mean of THE Pokedex? Come on, Professor Oak. I know this is the... The... 1990s? But come on, proper grammar! It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. What is it, Wiki? <laughs> you see the Pokedex! Yay! Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get the Golden Rod for my usual radio show. I'm counting on you! You're returning to Professor Elm. Yeah, your Pokemon should have some rest. So he'll heal, heal your Pokemon for free. I'm depending on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Now we wanna. Shit. Yeah, yes, now we wanna shit. Hello? Cory? It's a disaster! Uh, um, it's just terrible! What should I do? It's. Oh! No! Please! Get back here now! Click. Did he die? Professor Elm, are you dead? No! So young! Okay. <laughs> I'm just being over dramatic. So apparently there's something wrong going with uh, Professor Elm, and we want to go check that out. So, um, this is a good opportunity to give your uh, spider Pokemon the, um, a held. A, a, a held item, mostly because of what's coming up. It's this asshole that was outside Professor Elm's lab before we got the starter Pokemon. You got a Pokemon at the lab? What a waste! A wimp like you. Hey, that's fighting words. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. What do I name this guy anyway? I forget. <laughs> it's been a few weeks. Oh, wait. Can't name him yet. <laughs> question mark, question mark, question mark, once about. Question mark, question mark, sorry. Turn it out. So, just like any Pokemon game up till uh, black and white, um, your rival will choose the Pokemon that's weakest to yours. What you want to do is pretty much just, since I have a berry, I'm just going to go ahead and stall. I'm really, oh, pfft. He's gonna go ahead and lower our defense as well, so he's pretty much thinking the exact same thing I'm thinking. So what you wanna do is you wanna, if you have a Pokemon that can lower his stats, that'll be the best thing. Especially later on in the game, it'll be, wow! I've never seen a scratch miss before. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and throw up one more Leer. And since we're a level higher than him, and plus we got, um, wow, holy shit! Okay, um... <laughs> We got two defense drops on him, and he's only got one on us. Um, wow. That didn't do as much as I was hoping. <laughs> okay, anyway, just go ahead and... Well, the water Pokemon are usually the bulkier ones, so... Um, that'll act, go ahead and activate our berry. Glad I get to show this off. Um, I don't want to stall anymore. I kind of want to just get this guy done and over with. And, wow, he's missing a lot. Dude, your Totodile sucks. <laughs> I've never seen this happen before. I must be having insane luck. Alright, Cyndaquil so glued to level 7, almost level 8. And, wow, holy shit, that's good. Question mark, question mark, question mark, who's defeated? <laughs> Are you happy you won? And after every trainer battle, you will get money. Money! My name is Question Mark, Question Mark, Question Mark. Great name. I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. 
Hey! Dickhead. Good! I'll see you later, dickhead! <laughs> Alright, so now we're on... Oh, uh, wow. Now we're back on our way to Professor Elm. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip out on the encounters. And just because I, I don't feel like I need them right now, <clears throat> I might battle more later. Um, only because... You know, trainers levels can get higher, and there's less of a chance of us getting fucked. <laughs> anyway, well, here we are back at Professor Elm's lab. I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting some information from Professor Elm. Apparently, it was a young male with long red hair. What? You battled a trainer like that? Did you happen to get his name? Um, I don't think I have enough space, but I want to be a dickhead, and, uh, I think I do. <gasps> I do! <laughs> yes. I don't care if this is the way to eat for everyone. I'm naming him Asshat! <laughs> okay, so Asshat was his name. You never hear police officers calling somebody by an... <laughs> <coughs> Thanks for helping my investigation. Sure, buddy. Whatever you say. Alright. Go ahead and talk to Professor Allen. This is terrible. Oh, yes. What was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? Go ahead and hand the mystery egg to Professor Allen. THIS! But, is it a Pokemon egg? If it is, it is a great discovery. WHAT?! <laughs> Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? Wait, is that true? Th that's incredible! He is superb at seeing the potential of po people as trainers, I almost said Pokemon as trainers. <laughs> yes, because the Pokemon own the trainers. <laughs> wow. You may have what it takes to become the champion. Do I? Well, I plan on getting a great team, so... Get yeah, now. You seem to be getting on great with Pokemon too. You should take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. The closest gym would be the one in Violet City. The road to the championship will be a long one. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. Okay. So that's pr that's pretty much the main idea of Pokemon. As you can see here, um, I don't think I'd shown this off in the last video. You got your money, and you got your ID number, and you, got, you know, this is a trainer card. You got your playtime here. Uh, Pokedex, the number of Pokemon you own. Um, and then here you have the eight gyms that you're going to be facing. In each Pokemon game, there's eight gems, except Sun and Moon. You know, Sun and Moon, they made it all different. <laughs> Where there's, um, trials instead of, uh, gym battles. It's complicated, I know. Um, but then you have this guy here, these are Professor Elm's aides. Yes, that's what they're, ca they're called, aides. <laughs> Use these on your Pokedex quest. You get Pokeballs, I believe you get five of them. Throw Pokeballs are wild Pokemon to get them. That's not always the case. Now, some Pokemon be harder to catch than others. In that case, you'll want to go ahead and weaken them to be able to catch them. Wow, that's a cute Pokemon. Go ahead and talk to my mom here, by the way. Where'd you get it? So you're leaving on an adventure. Okay, I'll have two. What can I do for you? I know, I'll save money for you. A long journey money is important. Yes, it is. Do you want me to save your money? Sure. Let me go ahead and move this, like, right here. Okay, I'll take care of your money. What she'll do is, pretty much, she'll, when you get money, <coughs> Pokemon are your friends. You need to work as a team. Now go on. Sure. Now, what she'll do is, you'll get money from trainers as you go on. And I don't know if I want to talk to him. Well, I've seen you a couple times. How many Pokemon have you caught? Would you like me to show you how to catch Pokemon? I know how, but sure, go ahead. 
I've been playing Pokemon since I was like three years old. <laughs> Radita. Oh my god, that reminds me of a terrible time when I was playing freaking <laughs> Pokemon Dark Energy, which is a. Uh... Oh, by the way, I like this. Dude, use the Pokeball. His name is Dude. <laughs> I fucking love it. Gotcha. Glad to have Yeah. So, um, uh, he just throw a Pokeball at the. You know, first Pokemon, you should a cat. That's not always the case either. Sometimes you'll want to go ahead and uh, inflict the Pokemon with a status condition like sleep, paralysis, poison, or um, freezing. So I'm not gonna go. Ahead, I'm not gonna catch this guy just because I don't need a Rattata. <laughs> oh, I should explain the Pokedex too. Wow, that was pretty great. Critical hits ignore. Um, what do you call it? Staff? Mm. Wow. Stat decreases? Like, say if you, um, your attack got lower. So it could be lower. 8, by the way. Um, say if your attack got lowered and you end up getting a critical hit. <laughs> so say you end up getting a critical hit. And you have maybe plus 1 or plus 2. Attack, um, attack debuffs. There we go. Critical hit will ignore ignore that completely, and you'll do the normal damage that is, you know will uh, be required. So, uh, whatever you want, again, whatever you want to call it. So. About 17 minutes. I don't want to make this video too long. Um, maybe tomorrow morning I'll do another video. Uh, depending on how I feel. Um, I haven't really felt like recording really. And here's um, the next common uh, night spawn, which is Hoot Hoot. I'm not exactly looking for Hoot Hoot right now, but I am going to catch. <clears throat> Um, if you come here during the day, there'll be Pidgeys instead of Hoot Hoots. Which, I know, why the fucking hell would you want to catch a Pidgey? Well, I happen to find use in... All the flying type Pokemon that I can. Um... Berries will spawn on trees every, every day. So I think they'll regrow, well, like, every day. So you can go ahead and check back on those. And they should be there. So, the first Pokemon I'm going to be going after is actually up in this area, which I will go to in the next video. And, um, okay, I'm just going to move this, and I'm going to go ahead and... I cut that, I cut that, um, that on. Um, last time I did that, I accidentally ended the video and it was like three minutes, so. So, next Pokemon I'm gonna get, the Pokemon I'm gonna be going after is up in here, and it's, you can only find it in the morning, so I'll go ahead and go up in this room. And I'll go ahead and end the video here. So, thank you guys for watching. If you like this part, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell. For when I post up a new video and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.